What up out there? Welcome back to another episode of the Pro State Argument. So today I'm going to touch base on something that many people almost never quite discuss or they understand. But it is the cornerstone of your whole case. Your everything rides in this one precedent. Okay? So you should definitely study it before you do anything because it's going to be referred to at least 2,000 times in your case, okay? in the process of litigation. It is the McDonnell Douglas Corp. vs. Green. It's a precedent set in case decided by the Supreme Court. Ironically, it was argued in 1973 and decided some months after that. Uh, a real brief overview, it was about, um, Green, he won, he won all of his cases, right, and McDonald Douglas, they, they lost the appeals, and then they went to the Supreme Court, because what had happened was, he, Green claimed, um, discrimination and being rehired. First, he was laid off, and he claimed that that was discriminatory because there was only black people being laid off, which is true. It was a fact at that time. Only black people were laid off. Um, And interestingly enough, this was in August 28, 1964, which was kind of right before the Civil Rights Act. Like, literally a month before that, we get the Civil Rights Act. Right? That's the timetable. Let me... um, let me bring up the timetable here for you because I can't, my memory is not the best, but I did utilize chat GCP, which is a great tool, and I'm going to do a thing about how you can use it to help write your complaints and how you can use it for your case. Uh, it's a great tool. Let's see if I can get it to open up for me. And so, what this case is about is, I won't go into the details about how it started. You can, uh, research that yourself. Let me see if I want it. Okay, I'm going to chat open up for me. I really hate them. I really hate them. So, every complaint is going to be evaluated based on four things, okay? Every complaint is going to be evaluated based on four elements that you got to have. If you don't have these elements, they can easily dismiss your case. Um, Most importantly... You have to have elements uh, number, I believe it's number two or number three. Let me see here. Yeah, you, def- you got to have element number two. Now, element number two is kind of going to vary depending on Different different scenarios. Obviously, if you're applying for the job versus being employed, if you're employed, element two changes to you doing the job satisfactorily. Where most people mess up is they don't have that in their control. And that's where they can get you to, to get a motion to dismiss. So, we're going to talk about how to structure your complaint and why you should use this McDonald Douglas case to structure your complaint. Basically, when you think about it, you just have to um you just have to you just have to ask yourself four questions in your complaint. Okay. Hold on. Because uh, doing my research I realized that let's see. Okay, so June was initiated at the President Kennedy. Okay. So the Civil Rights Act of 1964 
became law July 2nd, 1964. McDonnell Douglas was decided by the Supreme Court. Well, actually, no. Um, Green worked for McDonnell Douglas until August 28th, 1964. So a month after the Civil Rights Act, about a month or some change later, after the Civil Rights Act was signed on July 2nd, 1964, Green is laid off August 28th, 1964. Now, why is this important? I'm going to talk about that later. I want to talk about how all of this comes together in a conspiratorial way. But first, I'm going to help you get your complaint down, Pat. So you've got to become familiar with the McDonnell Douglas case. This case is going to be referred to a lot. And most people, it just goes over their head. So when you write your complaint, the first thing you want to do with your complaint is you want to start with the discrimination. Because they're going to hit you with some other shit about how it's not clear what your, what, what, what your claim is about. And that's some other commercial law that they're using. It's an it's a old at and case that was like 5,000 pages. The complaint was like 5,000 pages. And it was never clear what the complaint was or what the it was never the employer never got noticed what they did wrong because the complaint was too long. So they weren't able to do the complaint. So what I wanna do with you is I wanna show you how to get all around it. So the first thing you're gonna do with your complaint is you're going to write the discrimination event. Okay, and as specific as possible. But most importantly, even if you gotta repeat it, even if this is all you say, you wanna say the way you were treated differently. All the ways you were treated differently. In other words, if you went straight and somebody else was straight, you was told to stop and they were told to keep going. That's what you wanna that's what you wanna discuss. All the ways you were treated differently. Every nuance, every instance. And as much detail as you can, and also identify the witnesses. You saw it. You can even name the supervisor as a witness. You can even name whoever you want as a witness. Whoever may have been party to hearing about it or seeing it or you telling them about it is a witness. Okay? That's the first opening of your complaint. And it's pretty much like a paragraph or two. Usually keep it to a paragraph or two. This, this succeeds in the putting them on notice part, okay? Um, now, the question that you're going to have to ask, that you're going to have to answer, which is where they attack you at. And this is where I learned the hard way when you answer these questions. You don't really want to put exhibits into the complaint. It kind of annoys the clerk and the judge. But if you're going to put exhibits into the complaint, it better be exhibits that prove these four elements. Without these four elements, your case is done for. So, the first element is that you belong to a racial minority. Yes, believe it or not, they will argue that you are not whatever your racial minority is. They will argue that you're not African American. I've seen that. They will argue the fuck out of that, man. So, that's simply a passport, a driver's license, if it states your race, a passport, that states your race, a birth certificate, anything, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. One of those pieces of identification is all you need. That's exhibit one for you. Or exhibit A for you should be, so when you say what you are, you put that, see exhibit A, right? So that they know you belong to a racial minority. The next one, like I said, element two is going to change. But normally, element two is you apply and will qualify for the job. So that's easy to do if you're applying. They want a degree, you got the right degree. They want it this many years, you got that many years, right? That can be demonstrated in a number of ways, mainly by your resume, mainly by your affidavit to it, mainly by your cover letter, but mostly by your resume, right? Or your cover letter to them. And you just take the cover letter and you're going to add the date to it. Because you're in there, you're going to put how many years you work, what's your degree, right? You qualify, right? All the things you qualify in. 
Um, but if you work for the employer, it it changes to the job being done satisfactorily, right? So how do you prove we're doing a job satisfactorily? Well, that's why at least every month they usually do it on their own performance evaluations every month, every 30 days. If they don't do it, you should be emailing the supervisor every 30 days and saying, hey, how am I doing? What can I improve on? But you should specifically ask them, am I doing a job satisfactorily? Are you satisfied with the way I'm doing the job? Okay? Every 30 days you should ask them. <laughs> it's going to come important. It's going to be important to you later. But if you get awards, if you get anything that proves you're doing the job, that's your satisfactory. That's all you need. Awards, statements from your supervisor, performance evaluations, any of those things. That would be exhibit B. And then exhibit C, exhibit three is that the adverse action. Okay. So again, it changes, but if I'm assuming you have the job, then the adverse action will be determinated. So what was the adverse action? Determinated. That's easy to prove. That one never goes to school, right? But this is why you never sign documents, because that can be used against you later. Because they can have a legitimate, articulate reason for terminating you. If you sign it, if you sign it, if you sign a PIP or you sign a termination document, that means you agree to whatever they're saying. So don't ever sign it. <laughs> um, they're already going to terminate you, so not signing it doesn't, doesn't change anything. Um, and that's what they do. Um, and finally, the fourth element is that, um, and this is kind of tricky. Uh, like I said, if you already have a job, it's going to be that someone who was in your position Someone who did the same work you did, the same title, as similar as possible, right? They had the same offense, and nothing happened to them. So that's the most important part. And how do you prove that? Is you gotta get that one. You have to get discovery for. But since they're not going to allow you to go on a fishing expedition at this stage, you have to again either say you have a witness or affidavit or affidavit yourself so that you can show that you're your own witness. Just let a statement saying, this person did my job. This is with all the similarities you can. Age, star date, everything. All the similarities you can. Because they're going to say that this group or one person is not the same as you. That's why they were treated differently. So, for example, if you were late three times and this person was only late once and they terminated you because you were late three times, they're going to say legitimately that that's why we treated them different. They were on a different level of discipline. So it's, it's, it's helpful to you to understand how similar you are. Maybe that's not the only thing they did differently. Maybe that's not why they terminated you. It doesn't really matter. It's a discriminatory regardless, right? Being treated differently is discriminatory. But so many various scenarios. But the best thing to do with element four is to say that you have a witness or affidavit to you. And then this way you can jump through that with a loophole and let you go into discovery and then find that witness. So they actually be the person that you compare yourself to, called comparator. Right? So that's the main thing you need to do. So you need to do. First is understand the McDonald Douglas case, and we'll talk about it real quick. You need to understand the McDonald Douglas case. You need to open your complaint with the discriminatory narrative, how you were treated differently, how you were treated differently from someone else. What was the policy for what you did, and what did they do, and then what someone else did, and then what happened to them? And then answering each of these four elements and supporting them with evidence. That will help you so much in the motion to dismiss. Now, keep in mind, they're always going to file the motion to dismiss. It's their bread and butter. It's like worth $15,000 for them. They're not going to not do it. They, they lose nothing by doing it, and depending on how many counts or claims you have, they can get some of those knocked out. It happens. But they're not going to all get knocked out. So most people, like I said, they lose on element two because they never proved that they were doing a job satisfactorily. So... 
Make sure you have that proof already because you're not going to get to go on a fishing expedition. I don't want to give away all the strategies that you should be incorporating because then they can set up, people watch this stuff, they can set up for the strategies. But if you prepare yourself like I just instructed, you should do well. And again, this is not legal advice. This is just my own uh, input. This is what I did. Actually, I should say, this is what I did. Okay? This is not legal advice in no type of way, shape, or form. I'm not a lawyer. So don't accept this as legal advice. This is just what I did, and it works for me. Okay? So none of my cases got this mix at all. Um, and so what happened with McDonnell Douglas? Well, basically, McDonnell Douglas first screen was a case where the plaintiff green, they got laid off. And then he complained about discrimination, and they ignored him. And um, he joined the group that was picketing, and then uh, they did a lockout, and then he got arrested for protesting, which is why it comes up so much, because that's another that leads into retaliation later on. But anyway, so he saw that the job he had was, again, being offered, and he applied, and then they didn't hire him because of uh, the lockdown that he participated in, right, the illegal activity. But they did hire other people who were white who did the same thing he did. That's where the retaliation comes in. I thought McDonald Douglas is used to this. It's so broad. It has so many. It, it applies to so many actions because it was like, well, he was discriminated against, and there was the retaliation, you know, so so many actions. And it wasn't that he had the job and was discriminated against. It was him trying to get reemployed that he was discriminated against. He was qualified and didn't hire him. And they did admit that they didn't hire him because of his participation in the lock-in of him getting arrested. They admitted to that. But they never could say it was discriminatory. Well, they thought he couldn't say it was discriminatory, but surprisingly, he was able to prove that white employees who did the same thing, participated in the lock-in, got arrested, were rehired. <laughs> so that's how he won. But then they just, you know, kept fighting it, kept fighting it to the Supreme Court. And again, like I said, this is all like a game. And the commercial court, the maritime court, don't want nothing to do with this. This just got thrown in their lap. So they said, well, how can we knock this out? You know, how can we knock this out before it gets started? So they utilize the Supreme Court to come up with this whimsical way to work against you. So they said, knock it out. And the main way to go knock it out is element two. If you study cases, you'll see that 10 times out of 10, element two is what they use to decide your case to be dismissed. Because you can't prove that you were um, qualified for the job. Now, some districts favorably would give you a chance to amend the complaint and then tell you what to say and what to amend based on the merit of your complaint, which is why you have to be as clear as possible and as precise as possible. So, two paragraphs. If you never say how you were treated differently, all you do is blah, 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 what you heard, hearsay, subjective opinions, and all that, then they're going to say there's no need to amend the street titles. Nothing can fix this complaint. So that's why you have to specifically say things like this. This is how you got to put this in an example. You would say, I went to the bathroom. Jim, who is white, went to the bathroom. And I came back, I was written up. When Jim came back, he wasn't written up. I feel I was discriminated against. Okay? That's it. Now, there's other questions. Does does, does Jim do the same work as you? Yes, he does do the same work as you. Has Jim been there longer or shorter than you? He's been about, he's been not really, he hasn't been there as long as me. Okay? So that's why you gotta have as many similarities. You do the same work, you start at the same time, you take our lunches together, you report to the same manager, right? As you read these cases, you see that that's the real task that they can, the similarity between you and the other person. So, but, but that doesn't really matter at this point. What, what, you talking about, we're talking about that later because that's really a discovery thing. But what matters at this point is that you can prove 
racial minority, satisfactory job employment, satisfactory job performance, um, adverse action, and someone else is treated better than you for the same offense. That's all you got to prove at this point, okay? So that's all I got for today. We're talking about more McDonnell Douglas cases later. I'll put a link to this case. The final version of it, I mean, you can study the whole thing from the initial complaint to um, the Supreme Court uh, appeal and all this stuff. You can, I recommend you do it at least once because it's really good stuff. I'm looking at it right now. And um, really good stuff. So without further ado, that's all I got for today, guys. This is the first argument. I hope this helps you out. Again, this is not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. This is no way to talk to legal advice. This is just my opinion, my personal opinion as an individual. And this is the techniques and the strategies that I've used to keep my complaint from getting this. This is actually one of them. I put the other one in there where I said you have to, you have to put into your complaint research or a reference to social science. And I think you watch, watch that video and explain to me. That works like a trial. That's like extra, extra sugar. Because if you understand them, if you understand the vehicle of a mission to dismiss that it is, it's basically just telling the court, yeah, all of this is true, but he can't prove it. <laughs> uh, go while you put in your exhibits, while you answer your exhibits affirmatively, and you support these answers with exhibits. That's it. <laughs> you show in the court, you can prove it, and it's case needs to proceed. And then, of course, the little inaccuracies that, that come up, like uh, statutes and jurisdictions and things like that, well, that's going to happen. Depending on how many counts you have, the court may, may streamline things, you know. But all right, that's all I got for today, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Get justice. Peace.